Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dennis and here is my assistant Bob, who will be helping us with really tough questions. In this video, I'll talk about what plagiarism is and strategies how to avoid it. Let's go! And as always, all the information that I use in these videos rely on two excellent books by Murray 2012 and Bailey 2011. As we know, in order to write a good piece of work which would claim an academic status, you must make references to other people's research published. And here comes the question of plagiarism. Bob, what do you think plagiarism is? Okay, Bob knows it all. Plagiarism is the practice of taking somebody else's ideas and using them in your own work without acknowledging the original source. So basically, whether you plagiarize deliberately or not, the effect is always the same. You're claiming those ideas as your own. And this is nothing else than stealing. And is punished accordingly. There are many reasons why you should avoid plagiarism. First, copying the work of others will not help you develop your own understanding. Second, don't even think to plagiarize, because plagiarism is very easily detected by teachers. And today it's even easier to detect plagiarism because there is special software that detects instantly cases of plagiarism. But what's most important is that this is severely punished, so there can be very severe ramifications. Plagiarism can lead to failing an assignment or a course or even it can lead to the expulsion from the university. I remember in my BA studies there was one student who was caught plagiarizing. He was warned once and when he was caught plagiarizing for the second time he was expelled from the university. And you don't want to be expelled from the university, right? right. So always acknowledge other people's works. So if you use other people's academic work in your text, you must provide correct acknowledgement. There are two ways to do this. First is summary and citation. For example, Zwalov 2020 argues that academic writing is an essential course in academia. And second, quotation and Citation. Zubalov 2020, and here you provide the page number because you're going to use the, the direct quote, claims that quarantine offers students a great opportunity for self-reflection and come to the right decision to enroll for the online academic writing course. Don't ask me in which book I got this quote. So this citation makes it clear to the reader that you have read Zubalov's work and borrowed this idea from him. So the reader could then use this information to find the source, for example, in the library, and if he or she needs more details. And here comes the quiz time. I would like you to think whether the following statements can be attributed to plagiarism or not. And here we need the assistance of Bob, who will give us his expert knowledge. So Bob, is copying a paragraph, but changing a few words and giving a citation, is it plagiarism? Yes or no? Second, cutting and pasting a short article from a website with no citation. Apparently, this is... Correct. Three, taking two paragraphs from a classmate's essay without citation. True, taking a graph from a textbook giving the source. Good. Five, taking a quotation from a source, giving a citation, but not using quotation marks. Good. 
using something that you think of as general knowledge. For example, large areas of rainforest have been cut down in recent years. Can we say that this is kind of plagiarism? Using a paragraph from an essay, you wrote and had marked the previous semester without citation. Using the results of your own research, for example, from a survey, without citation. Discussing an essay topic with a group of classmates and using some of their ideas in your own way. Oh, this is tricky. And finally, giving a citation of some information but misspelling the author's name. What is it? Is it plagiarism? So, as you can see, it's not always easy to detect whether this is plagiarism or not. And for this reason, we have to be very careful. But what you must make sure is that, in general, anything that is not common knowledge or not your own ideas uh, and research published or not must not be cited, must be cited and referenced. So, cite well, reference well, and your paper will enjoy an academic status. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.